Okay, uh, in this video, I'm just going to show a compilation of uh, all the code that I have uh, done previously in the previous videos. So uh, we have this uh, certificate admin page here and the UI is created using uh, Tailwind CSS and Daisy UI but I will be getting into that. So on this page, uh, we will be issuing the certificates uh, onto the blockchain and then on uh, this page, we can see the issued certificates and then uh, as well as we can change the socket settings of the smart contract so we can deploy the smart contract and then we can change the DNS here as well so for the issue OA certificates uh, what we do is we want to be able to upload multiple uh, PDF files and then uh, upload it and deploy it to the smart contract to issue it to the smart contract so uh, this would be done with just one click of a button to upload so if we go to the code uh, we can see here if we go to the button Yes, so we can see uh, here The upload button the, the upload button here handle issue. So upload button you don't click you to go to handle issue So in my handle issue code So once I uploaded all the PDFs, so I multiple PDFs the first handle issue code the first line is here constant cert data so we'll be getting the cert data from upload pdf so uh, what upload pdf does is we go down here uh, okay so upload pdf it will uh, create a form data and then you will put my files the, into the form data and then we'll be sending the form data over to my backend express uh, server uh, if we go to my certificate controller here in my back end, uh, so okay, certificate routes. You can see here upload PDF. You will run the create certificates uh, function. So then we go to create certificates. You can see here uh, we are using Malter to uh, actually read the file. So uh, we create use the uh, so we will use request of files as a Malter file. We can read the file. So and then there's a for loop here, so for file in files, uh, so we are getting the data of each file, which is the file buffer itself. And then after that, we are extracting the name, the, the course name, and the date. And then uh, we are also getting an ID here. For also, the when we upload a uh, document to MongoDB, you will gener auto generate an ID, and then this line will allow us to return back the ID of the document itself so that we can uh, use it later on and then uh, we are pushing back a response so uh, we are sorry insert data my ID name cost name cost data and then we're pushing back a response with the cert data and then once the response is back uh, we have our cert data here in my uh, handle issue function we can use the cert data to create raw documents so we are calling this uh, create raw documents to get my raw documents. So if we scroll down to create raw documents. Okay, so first of all, we're creating an array called raw documents. And then for each item in cert data, which is each of the certificate data that we have, uh, we are just uh, putting in the form values. So the, the my uh, raw get raw document, we have my form values document store address and DNS so this would create the raw document needed uh, when we wrap the document into a open attestation document so if we go to get raw documents it is in my issuer so issuer get raw documents so for each of the files uh, we are just uh, inserting the values here into the values in my uh, JSON template here, so we are just returning the entire raw document itself. So if, uh, once we have that, we are going to the wrap documents. So once we have our raw documents, we can wrap the documents, wrap all the raw, raw documents together uh, in one array so that uh, when we issue the documents, we issue it as uh, one transaction. So this would be saving on transaction costs. So uh, instead of sending multiple transactions for how, how uh, how many certificates we have so for create wrap documents if we go to the create wrap, wrap documents function if create wrap documents we are calling the get wrap documents and then putting in the raw documents so in my for my get wrap documents 
if I go to issuer I have a get wrap documents here and this is just using the function from the open edition framework called wrap documents and then inserting the raw documents to return the wrap document so this is also an array of the uh, wrap documents that we have and if we go back to upload files and go back to the function so once we got the wrap documents we can upload the the open attestation files so the open attestation file are actually just the wrap documents itself so uh, we can issue the documents and upload the, the documents to my mongodb separately so first of all i will upload the mongodb files so in my upload oa files we use the uh, wrap documents and the cert data so we put in the cert data to uh, find back the id of the actual certificate because uh, earlier we uploaded the PDF and then we want to find the same certificate that the file was in that, that this same always file relates to the PDF so to make sure that uh, all the files match so we are just putting in the ID again and then as well as the actual OA document and then if we go to upload OA files uh, as you can see here we are uploading OA files so we create a new uh, form data and then in this for loop here uh, we are putting the setting the the file as a JSON block, and then we are uh, putting it into a form data. Uh, so we have the file, the file data itself, and then the the cert, uh, file name, and then the ID, and then we are putting it into my upload OA API with the form data. So for my upload OA PDF API, if I go to con, uh, certificate routes. Upload OA, upload OA file. So my controller upload OA file is right here. So we are again we are using a mounter to read the files uh, using request.files as a mounter file. And then in this for loop here, we are just inserting all the uh, all the necessary information. So my OA file would be the file data, the file buffer. My OA file name would be the original name, and then uh, we just save. And then you can see here we are using the ID. So, so find my ID to to get back the same certificate that uh, we have uh, uploaded for the PDF. So once that is done, we we'll just send back a response called OA files uploaded successfully, and then we can go back to the the code again. So to my handle issue code again. So the last one that we need to do is issue document. So this is the the part that relates to the blockchain itself. So for issue documents, uh, we go to the function first so issue documents issue documents we are putting in the wrap documents the signer so the signer is uh, my my whatever wallet i'm using the document store address and then the cert data so issue document we go to our issuer services and then issue document so uh, for this part we first connect to the document store using the document store factory.connect and then using the document store address and the signer and uh, take note here this function uh, will only connect if the signer is the same as the the address who deployed the the smart contract so you only can use the same wallet uh, for the for the smart contract if the wallet has also deployed the smart contract okay so in here we are getting the merkle root of the wrap documents of uh, whichever one because when we wrap the documents using the wrap documents function for the multiple documents uh they return back the same merkle root for every cert file and uh for this uh document store dot issue uh if we want to issue a uh the document uh the certificate from a uh, multiple wrap documents we use the merkle root instead of the target hash so if we are just issuing one certificate we will be using the target hash but for this uh, we will be using the merkle root of just one document because uh, all the merkle roots are the same for when we wrap the same documents together when we wrap the documents together in the same batch so once that is done uh, blockchain the blockchain has uh, received the merkle root of the certificates and then uh, that we can identify we can verify the certificates on the blockchain now so the that is the end of the handle issue so i can, can just demo it over here the whole process so if i go to the site itself and then click load directory and then i just choose this certificate directory that i have you will load three different certificates that i have inside i click upload 
you will start running the MetaMask transaction. Then I click confirm. Just let it load. Okay, so the document has been issued. And then if we go to issued certificates, you can see here there are the three certificates that I've just uploaded. And then we have both the PDF file and the verification file. So if I download the PDF file, you can see here. This is the PDF file, and then we download the verification file, and then we go to the Trade Trust website. The test of Trade Trust, we are on Polygon. Just drag and drop this. You can see here that uh, this has been issued by the DNS, and then document has been issued. Document has been uh, document issue has been identified, and document has not been tampered with. And then we can see the certificate generator here as well.